A fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hi-Yo Silver, the Lone Ranger. His faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, fought crime and criminals throughout the western United States. No one could match his strength and courage. It was his ability to judge character that made him the greatest champion of justice the West ever knew. No matter what the circumstances, the man who was honest and innocent could always depend upon the masked rider's help. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for the range country. It's going to be trouble. Hello, Silver. Away. Helen Barker walked into the living room from the kitchen and stopped in surprise when she saw that her husband was getting ready to go out. Jack. Huh? Oh, hello there. Grub about ready? Everything's on the stove. Jack, where are you going? Oh, just out. Out where? Just down the trail a piece. Down the trail? Mm-hmm. I don't figure to be gone long, though. You can hold the vittles for a bit if I'm a minute or two late, can't you? Uh, I suppose, but why don't you want to tell me where you're going? Is, is there something you think you should hide? Oh, I'm... Is it, Jack? Helen, you have to get so curious. When a fellow has something to do and you can see you don't want to talk about it, can't you let him alone? Gosh, I think you... Something's you're... wrong. Listen, Helen, I don't... You never acted like this before. But, Gully... And you're not leaving this house until I know where you're going. Jack, you've got to tell me. Oh. Please, Jack. All right, if you have to know. I got a message from your pa. And I'm going down the trail to meet him. Oh, Jack, no. Well, I am. But but you can't. It, it isn't true. You think I'm fibbing to you? But I don't understand. You and Father haven't spoken since the day we were married. Maybe he wants to make up. I don't believe it. Then maybe he don't. How do I know? All I know is he wants to see me about something or other, and... I don't even let him think I'm as scared of him by staying away. How do you know he wants to see you? He sent a note. For one of his men? Oh, a stranger brought it. Said your pa asked him to give it to me. Where is the note? I don't know. Threw it away, I guess. Oh, what did it say? Oh, gosh, when it comes to asking questions... Jake, what did it say? Just what I told you. He wants to see me. He'll be at the Grove over west. Didn't say nothing else. If I don't hurry and get started, I'll miss... I won't try to stop you. I don't see no reason why you should. But if you're going, I am going to ask you to leave your gun at home. Huh? You heard me, Jack. Leave it here. What in thunder for? Because I know your temper. I know how one word can lead to another until they end in a quarrel. I want you to go unarmed because if you're quarreled and, and anything should happen to either of you, I... Well, I, I don't even want to think about it. I ain't going to fight. You don't know what you'll do. Shucks, honey. Are you going to leave that gun? Nope, I don't reckon I will. Oh, Jack. I'll be careful, honey. I'll find out what your paw wants. And you got my word, I'll be back home inside an hour. Oh, oh boy. Well, here we are, boy. I wonder where Helen's paw is. 
Mr. Sampson? Hi, Mr. Sampson. I guess he ain't here yet. But I thought... Say, what in tongue it... It's him. It's him laying there. He's been drilled. <laughs> what? Who's that? Look over here. Who is it? And take it! Oh! <laughs> Hey, fellas, you hear that shot? Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, 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 oh. Where'd it come from? Over that way, aren't wanted. Sounds to me like it come from the grove. Right? Then we better take a look. Come on. Get up, boy. Come on. Get up, boy. Here. Samson's done for. And who's this? Oh. It's Jack Barker. They had a gunfight. Jack's coming too. Oh, oh, yeah, is... oh, oh shut up a second, will you, fellas? Now, wait a second, Jack. Don't try to get up till I've had a look at this place where you were shot. Oh. Hmm, it ain't so bad. Just creased your scalp and parted your hair. <laughs> you was lucky. Help me up. Uh, here. Oh. There you are. Jack, how did it happen? What did you and Samson fight over? Huh? When was it, Jack? What started the argument? But uh, there weren't none. Huh? I never drilled him. I found him just like that. And then somebody yelled, and when I turned to look, they, they took a shot at me. I didn't even see who it was. That's all I can recollect <laughs> till right now. Jack, that's pretty thin. You, you don't believe me? You figure we should when we find you with a gun in your hand and one shot fired out of it? With Samson's gun in his hand the same way? But, hey, this gun ain't mine. No? It ain't, I tell you. It, it ain't. The fellow that done the killing must have left it and took mine. He left it to put the blame on me. Sorry, Jack. But I tell you... Folks around here always knew something like this was bound to happen one of these days. Ever since you got hitched to his daughter again his orders. Wait, fellas, I'm telling you... Maybe that... you killed him in a fair fight. Listen, I... But that'll be for the law to decide. Pete, you'd better ride into town and bring the sheriff. We'll stay here. Right. <clears throat> Get up there. Wait. <laughs> Won't you believe me, fellas? Won't you listen to what I say? I'm not guilty, I tell you. Jack? <laughs> well? We ain't got nothing against you personal, so don't get us wrong. But a killing's a killing has to be dealt with according. So it's just a waste of breath trying to argue with us. But, fellas, what? what? A, a, a mass man. A redskin. A crook. Don't slap on him. He who can't. Gotta watch them. Uh, me watch them. What do you want? Is this a holdup? No. Then what Quiet. are you... Quiet. All right, Tonto, I'll handle them. You examine Samson. Uh, Hunter, do it. Say, what are you up to? Tonto and I heard the shots just as you did. Yeah? You were closer and got here first. But we've seen what's going on. Huh? And I have an idea. You've made one very serious mistake. Tonto, was I right or wasn't I? Him still live all right. Well, you hear hey, you, you mean Mr. Samson ain't dead? Wait. Will he live, Tonto? You think he can be brought to? Uh, me not know. Him hurt plenty bad. Can you help him? Tonto try. Good. And pick him up and put him across your saddle. Hey, no, wait, you can't I'm do giving it. the orders here. You can't and remember do this. this. What do you, you mean? You can hold Jack for the sheriff. The sheriff can jail him. But in case you're tempted to take justice into your own hands, Jack isn't the murderer until Samson dies. Here, Silver. No, oh, you can't get The away. first man to try for his gun stops lead. Well, ready, Tonto? I'm ready. Yep, and let's go. Come on, Silver. And let's go. Shoot him down. Uh, you fools, hold your fire. Don't shoot. Samson's still living, he might get hit. Hold your fire! This'll do, Tonto. Rain up. Uh, oh, Scout. Oh, oh, there's Robert. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's a good place to make camp. It's isolated and there's plenty of cover. You can make things ready while I'm gone. You ride? Yes, Kimosabe, to town. What do there? I'll call on the sheriff. Oh. And I'll be back by sundown. Come on, Silver. Hail, Silver! Hooray! At that moment, Samson's foreman was talking with the sheriff in the lawman's office. I got a question to ask you, Sheriff. What's that, Carp? How do you feel about duels? <laughs> duels? What are you talking about? Well, suppose there's hard feelings between a couple of hombres. They get to hate each other so much that they finally decide to shoot it out. That used to happen a lot in the old days. Times have changed. Duels are against the law. They always was. 
But somehow or other, the guy who won never got hanged. You mean the jury to quit him? Yeah. Well, I can't answer for any jury. I've seen him do a lot of fool things. But I know what the law says, and as long as I'm sheriff, I'll do my best to enforce it. Unless it's an accident or in self-defense, a man who kills is a murderer. You'd arrest him? I sure would. And you can tell your boss that. Yeah? You had some reason for worrying about Duel's carp. A man don't ask a question like that for no reason at all. Come on now, tell me the truth. Has old man Samson been threatening to shoot it out with his son-in-law? I didn't say that he... Well, you know how he talks. Yeah? It might be a good idea if you had a word with him. You can tell him what I said yourself. And you can add this to it. What? If I was him, I wouldn't count on any jury setting me free. The folks in this county want law and order. I guess you're right. Sheriff, what's up? There's been a shooting in Miner's Grove. You better come quick. A shooting? Anybody hurt? Jack Barter wounded. Who done it? Old man Samson. I was afraid he might... But the old man got the worst of it. He's dead. No. Come on. You gonna arrest Jack? That's my duty, and that's what I aim to do. Wounded or not, he'll be in jail within an hour. Reckon that'll hold you, young fella. You won't be breaking out of this jail. You dirty fool. Now, look here, Jack. Being the sheriff, I ain't doing nothing but my duty. The fella said it looked like a fair fight. You both had guns out. You got Samson, and his shot came close to getting you. Now, maybe you will be acquitted. But that's for the jury to decide, not me. You've got to stand trial. Doggone it, Sheriff. How many times I have to tell you there weren't no gunfight? Mr. Samson had been done for when I got there. That masked gent said he weren't dead yet. Well, maybe he wasn't. I don't know. I thought he was. And what's that got to do with it anyway? I'm still saying he weren't shot by me. Bound and determined to stick to that story, huh? It's true. Won't get no jury to believe that. I tell you, and I, I don't mind saying I don't myself. You'd be better off if you'd just come clean. Oh, the dickens with trying to argue with you. You do me a favor, Sheriff? Anything that ain't unreasonable. Send for my wife. Tell her where I am, and I want to see her. Oh, sure, that can be done. It won't be necessary. Helen. I, I already know what's happened. Cop has told me. Howdy, Sheriff. Hello, Cop. Tough lines, Jack. Yeah. But I knew someday you and the boss would tangle. It was one of them things just had to happen. If it did, you ain't sorry. Yeah. What do you mean? Jack. Well, you think he is? Wasn't him your pa wanted you to marry? Wasn't why your pa made Cop foreman? Wasn't it because I cut him out that your pa and me fought? I, I... Shucks, fella, that's all ancient history. I never held it again, you. Helen chose you, so There's I... There's no need to discuss it. Sorry, Helen. And, Jack, I came here for just one reason. I came to tell you that... that we're through. What's that? It can't be any other way. Maybe father started the quarrel. Maybe he forced you to draw. But I can't forget that he was my father. But I begged you not to meet him armed. But, honey, you don't know the facts. It weren't that way at all. I never... I know had... the story you've told him. And I can't believe it any more than the others do. But, honey... I... I won't talk about it. I, I can't. Cop, take me out of here. Well, sure, Helen. You come along. Uh, see you later, Sheriff. Yeah. Well, I... I'll be. Didn't expect anything else, did you, Jack? Even she wouldn't believe me. And if your own wife won't, that means... Huh? Won't nobody else, neither. Young fella, if it turns out Samson's really done for her, I'm afraid things are going to go so good for you. Then, Sheriff, you've got to find him. That's what I aim to do. You've got to find that masked man and see where Mr. Samson was took. Uh-huh. Then what are you standing there for? Go on. Go on, doggone it. Find him. I... Looking for me? What in... The Masked Man. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. Startled by the sudden appearance of the masked man, the sheriff instinctively slapped his hand to his holster. 
was stopped by the Lone Ranger's lightning draw. Careful, Sheriff. Uh, Sheriff, watch out. He's got the drop on you. I didn't come looking for trouble, Sheriff. But anything you start, I'll finish. Why did you come here? For the answer to certain questions, which you and Jack should be able to furnish. Stranger, where's Samson? What do you do with him? He's still alive or ain't he? You'll answer my questions first, Sheriff. Yours will come later. (laughs) Looks like your boss. What do you want to know? Who were Samson's enemies? Who would benefit by his death? What are you getting at? I have reason to believe Jack has been telling you the truth. I believe he's innocent. In that case, you'll have to look elsewhere for your killer. You... you believe in me, Masked Man? I do. Why? For one very excellent reason. I've seen both Jack and Samson. They were found under circumstances that made it appear they had shot it out. But there's one fact that won't agree with that story. What fact's that? If they had fought, their shots would have been fired at almost the same time. Huh? But they weren't. Samson's wound was made almost an hour earlier than Jack's. You're sure of that, stranger? Yes. How do you know? You might have seen the same thing if you'd had the opportunity to make a comparison. I would have if you hadn't took Samson away. I had a reason for that. Huh? If I had left him where he was, it might have been shown that Jack was innocent. Then what? But by taking him away, I'll do more than that. I'll also learn who was guilty. Mask man, you do that and I'll be your part for life. Outlaw or not. You make it sound good, stranger. But how do I know you ain't talking through your hat? Give me the information I've asked for. And I'll prove I'm not. You mean tell you who might want Samson done in? Yes. Mm, I wouldn't do no harm to tell you that, I reckon. If you don't, I will, Sheriff. Now, don't get hasty, young fella. Now, let's see. There's Buck Klein, and there's Sam Jinks. Him and Samson was always fighting. Buck Klein, Sam Jinks, Dick Seeley. There were half a dozen, Tyler. Each was Samson's enemy, or I had something to gain by his death. Ah. So any one of those men might have shot Samson and framed Jack for it. Not right. The sheriff wanted to investigate each one and learn what kind of an alibi he had for the time of the shooting. Uh Ah. But I talked him out of that. Our plan is not only easier, but more certain. And I don't want any of them to think that he's under suspicion. Mm, That's a good idea. The sheriff agreed to it. Him help? He will, Kimasabi. What him do? I think tomorrow he'll spend quite a bit of his time in the cafes in town. Oh. Telling the townsmen just what he's been instructed to say. Uh, well, we're gonna do something about you seen the masked man, Sheriff? Yeah, what's he say? Samps is still alive. What's that masked gent's game? Hold on, fellas, now, hold on. Well, hurry up and tell I us. don't mind telling you about it, but how can I with all you fellas talking to once? Well, well how'd the masked man happen to look you up, Sheriff? Because I'm the law, that's why. Why wouldn't he? But ain't he a crook? Maybe. But I got my own notions about that. But how about Samson? He's alive, all right. Well, yeah, that right. ain't to say that he's gonna live. What do you mean by that? Well, the mask fella says it's gonna be kind of touch and go. He's still unconscious. Oh, well, Can't well, be well. moved or anything. The mask fella's got a redskin paw tendon to him. Where are they? Uh, that's something I ain't saying. The masked man gonna let you know what happens to Samson? Uh-huh, that's all been fixed. And Jack? Stays right where he is in jail. Maybe he's telling the truth about that shooting, and maybe he ain't. If Samson lives to tell his story, we'll get the facts. Till then, Jack's staying behind bars. But how long is that going to be? Don't know for sure. Then why don't... But it won't be too long. The masked man said they ought to know whether Samson's going to pull through or not inside of 48 hours. Hello, Sheriff. Oh, it's you, stranger. I've been waiting for you. Uh, what? You've been all around town. You let everyone know what I told you to say? Sure have, mister. By this time, if there's a man, woman, or child in these parts don't know about it, they must be deep. Good. Uh, stranger, uh, just a second. Yes? I've answered all your questions when you ask them. Mind if I put a few to you? Go on. Ain't anything you should mind answering. First off, this Injun part of yours you've mentioned. You ain't told me his name. <laughs> it, it wouldn't be Tonto, would it? It would. But how did you know? <laughs> oh, I just had a hunch when I heard you ride off last night calling that horse of yours silver. Oh? Uh, would you mind my looking at your guns? Uh, just one of them will do. Yeah. Take it. Mm. <laughs> Satisfied? Bullets of silver. Right. Mister... You may be wondered why I didn't put up no bigger argument when you told me your scheme. It was logical. And you certainly could see I had nothing to gain by it. Uh, but, mister, uh, that wouldn't have been enough by a long sight. No? 
It was cause I had a blame good notion who you was. <laughs> then in that case, huh? maybe you'll be ready to carry out the rest of my plan. What do you mean? Recall the names of those men we discussed last night. The men who might gain by Samson's death? Oh, sure. Well, tomorrow, send for them. Have them brought here to your office. But what for? What'll I say? That you're forming a posse. That you've chosen them to ride in it. Uh -huh. Listen, Sheriff, and I'll tell you exactly what I have in mind. Hey, Sam, you to home? The Sheriff wants you. Sheriff wants you in town right now. What's that you said? Uh, Sheriff's forming a posse, cop. You've got to be in it. Get it, fella. Get it. Beat the sheriff, won't you? Sheriff, send for you. You get to town. Hurry, Jake. The sheriff wants you. Come on, Silver. Come on, old fellow. Get him up, Scout. Get him up. Where we go? See that cliff tunnel? We see it. That's where we're headed, Kimosabe. Oh. If we signal from there, the smoke will be seen in town. Come on, old fellow. Hurry, boy. Get him up, Scout. Get him up. Hey, old Silver. Hold on. Doggone it, Sheriff. Huh? You sent for us and said we was needed for a posse. Well, if we are, why don't we do something? Why don't you get away from that window and tell us who we're going after? We're all set and ready. Yeah, sure, I said. Well, maybe I should have told you a little more. But you see, fellas, I've been so busy watching for the signal, it kind of slipped my mind. Yeah. Huh? What signal? The one that mask man's going to send. Yeah. Oh, well, the mask man? That's right, Buck. Then this has got something to do with Samson? Fellas... The masked man told me Samson would either come to this morning and pull through, or he never would. Yeah. Oh, right. Now's the crisis. If he dies, ain't nothing much we can do but go on with the case again, Jack. You got some kind of notion he didn't shoot Samson? Well, there's certain things kind of point that way. What in turn is... You better let me finish. If Samson comes to, he'll be able to tell us who shot him. If it was Jack, well, all right. But if it weren't... Then we want to grab the skunk that did just as fast as we can. That's oh, right. Yeah. But how about this your signal you mentioned? The mask man will make it. It'll be a smoke signal. One smoke will mean Samson's done for. Yeah? And two will mean he's conscious. He can talk. Oh, yeah. 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 Chief, Phillies, look towards the hills. Smoke. Where you see it? There it is. How many, Carp? How many? Just one. Oh, oh, then that, that means... Quick. Samson's cashed in his chips. Yeah. Well, then I reckon that's it. We ain't gonna talk. We wasted our time. Me, I'm gonna... Wasted our time, did we? There's the second signal. You take a look. He just gotta go. That's right. Come on, you hombres. Get to the saddle. We're riding for the yeah, hill. Come on. <laughs> Keep going, fellas. Ain't much further. Get along there, boy. Get up there. Get up there. Hi. There's the last man now. He, he's waving. He, he's yelling something. Pull up. Pull up, fellas. Rain in, fellas. Whoa, there. Whoa, 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 uh, which way did Skunk go? Tano and I were watching from above. We saw him drop back when he rode through those trees there and raced to the hey, house. Sheriff, you will find out what we're talking about later, fellas. Right now, there ain't time to explain. Follow me. Tano's already on his trail. Come on, Silver. Get out there. Get out there. Get out there. Who's that he's chasing? Hey, it's Carp. like what he started out with us. And left you at the first opportunity to make his escape. He's the man who shot Samson. Ride that fellow down. Harry Silver, hurry. Come on, The polecat shooting at us. I'll take care of that. I'm riding ahead. Come on, old fellow. Look at that white horse stretch out. Covers the ground like he was flying. Get back, I'll kill you, bastard. Get back. Hey, 
in the car, Paula. The masked man's making the loop. He's getting ready to th- toss his rope. Get up, boy. Get up. Get up, boy. Oh, get up now. He got him. Cops on the ground. He's fighting like a wildcat. The masked man will handle him. Hold on to this gun, masked man. Pull up. Stand still, cop. We're saving you for a hanging. You can't hang me. Just what makes you think we can? Because Samson never died. He... But he did. What? What's that? He died immediately when you shot him. You gave yourself away. What's that? Sure, what I told him to say. We let you think Samson had a chance to pull through a purpose. So when the guilty man was convinced Samson was going to live to testify against him, he'd do exactly what you did, attempt to escape. God bless you, you... What was the idea, Carp? Figure if you could put the blame on Jack, Jack could hang and you could get hitched to the widder? What if I did? Well, you'll find that out after your trial. And you'll likely find out more. Yeah? If I'm not mistaken, you've guessed close, Sheriff. But you've guessed it only part of the truth. Carp would have liked to marry Samson's daughter so he could get his hands on the ranch. Uh-huh. But it wouldn't surprise me if you learned that Carp had been stealing from his employer, was facing exposure, and had to resort to murder to escape conviction. All the better. That'll just make his hanging double sure. And Jack will be released? As quick as we can get to town. All right, boys, back to the horses. We'll take this pole cat to jail. Come on, Come on, you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.